hey guys welcome back to another great video this is what we're going to build at the end of this video we are going to animate the form so that when we click on this button it can resize and show us additional content like this and also we can click the button again to collapse our window so without any further ado let's get started so i have already designed this form which actually wasn't that hard i just created the form and i added this button and then I added this image and I changed the size of the window so that the image is not shown when the application is launched and also I added two timers which you can get from the toolbox by searching as timer and for these two timers I have set the interval under the behavior section to one so that the animation will be fast and will be more easier for us to control the first thing I'm going to do is I will create an event handler for this button so double click on this button and in the event handler I'm going to type some code so what I'm going to do is actually I will check whether the button's text is this and not this one and if the button's text is equal to this I will run the code responsible for expanding the form and if the button's text is something else for instance this symbol then i will run the code that is responsible for collapsing the window so to do that we will use an if condition so let's create the if condition and in here i will check whether the button once or the btns so i have renamed the button as btn uh, btn's text is equals to this symbol right here and in here i will use the two timers and using the timers i will do the animation we can also just do something like this we can just type form with plus equals 100 or something or maybe 200 and for the else i will type form with minus equals 200 after i expand the form i'm going to change the btn's text to the symbol and i will copy that in here i will change it back to the original symbol now let's run the code quickly and see whether everything works so i'll run the code and now when i click here the window expands but it does not animate because it doesn't have that gradual change that needs to be made every second or so or every millisecond because we are just instantly expanding the form by 200 pixels and collapsing it by 200 pixels so what we are going to do is create a little animation and do the same thing so to do that we are going to use timer because then we can use time to animate our form through time all right so the process is going to be very simple so i'm going to use the two timers to animate for the expanding animation i'm going to use one timer and for the collapsing animation i'm going to use the other but you can use the same timer to do both of those animations but it will be a little bit complicated i will double click on the timer and this will create the default event handler which is the tick event of the timer which augurs every time the timer is ticked you'll get the idea when you see the results so here we need to animate the form so instead of instantly expanding the form what if we gradually increase the forms width just like this so instead of form width plus equals 200 i will type timer one start this function is going to start our timer which then triggers the tick event which then increases the width of the form gradually by 10 pixels every time so let's run the program and see how this works so now when i click on this one the form just expands forever so we need to set a limit for that so for that i'm going to use another variable because that is going to be very simple and easy to manipulate so i'm going to name that as count so we are going to use this variable count to count how many times this timer event got triggered so if the count is less than some number we can run the code and if count is equal to a certain number we can stop the timer so that our form won't expand forever so to do that we are going to use another if condition here so in the if condition i'm going to type count is less than 10 so if the count is less than 10 i'm going to increase our forms width by 10 pixels every time and also i'm going to increment our count variable so now let's try this program. so if we click the button now as you can see the expansion stops at a limit so we need to expand a little bit faster so i'm going to increase the increment level here to 20 so now let's run the program so this will you know expand our form 10 times by 20 pixels which means the form is going to be expanded by 200 pixels 
So now if we click on this button, the form will be expanded so that we can see the whole image. So now if we click here, as you can see, we need to animate that part as well. So that's what we are going to do next. So now we will copy this code and go back to our form, double click on the timer tool and paste that code here. So here we need to subtract 20 pixels every time. So instead of instantly subtracting or collapsing our window, we will call the timer tools start event, which then will trigger the tick event and this code will be run. So now let's see if the program works. And now when I click here, the expansion works. But when I click on the button again, it does not collapse. So the reason for this is the count variable has already reached number 10 in this if condition. So we need to do the opposite of it right here. So let's stop the program and instead of checking whether the count variable is less than 10, I'm going to check whether it is higher than 0 and I'm going to decrement our count variable and let's run the program. So now when I click on this button, the program expands or the window expands. And when I click on this button again, the window struggles to collapse. The reason for this is our timer one event is running in the background. So even though the timer two event is supposed to run, we did not stop the timer one. So while the timer two is running, the timer one is also running. So when we try to decrement count, then the timer one recognizes that change. And as now count is going to be lesser than 10, it will carry out these two lines. So then it will go back to 10 and then this function will be called. And again, it will go back to eight and this will run as a loop. So what we need to do is create an else statement. And here we will stop the timer one once we get to this point so that it won't run after that so let's do the same here here we need to stop the timer 2 and now let's run the program and see whether it works so now let's click on this button and the program or the window expands and when i click on that button again the window collapses and we can do this all day long so i hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something new you can use some other buttons for the bottom as well you just need to increase the height of the form and you can move the form around let me just show you that really quickly if we change this width to left let's see what happens the form should move to the left hand right so let's see as you can see the form moves on the screen from left to right and right to left so that's pretty cool right so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and learn something new if you learn something and also enjoy this video let me know in the comment section below and also share this video with your friends hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one and bye for now